Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So today is a very quick video on how to bind brand new brakes and pads. So I've come to a quiet industrial estate where I know there's uh, not a lot of traffic. And what I'm going to do is I am going to just go up and down a stretch of road and do what is called binding the brakes, um, which what we're going to do is we're going to come here, no cars around us, we're going to accelerate up to 30 miles an hour and on my front I'm just going to very lightly brake all the way to a stop. And it's very lightly and then again back up to 30 miles an hour and very lightly brake on the front all the way to a stop now you may notice eagle viewers i'm not stopping i'm going up to nine miles an hour but it's good enough it's just the very light bringing it all the way in and you want to do that five times on your front and your rear so 30 miles an hour as slow as you can to a complete stop or near stop you know five miles an hour or so so 30 miles an hour slow all the way down to a slow or near stop <laughs> now for the rear 30 miles an hour and then slow 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 we're not going fast at all all the way down to a near stop now there I could feel my back actually was uh, really weak or really slippery glazed wise so I had to give a little bit more pressure than I wanted to there to stop it but that's the whole point of the exercise so 30 miles an hour very slowly to a complete stop You'll find with the back brake you're probably stopping quicker than you would with the front because obviously you have a little bit less control over your rear than you do on your front. All depends how uh, tactile you are. Okay, now you've done five times on your front and five times on your rear at 30 miles an hour, slowing as slowly as you can to a stop, within reason. Then the next step is same again, but up to 40 miles an hour this time. And then what we're going to do is brake a little bit more aggressively. We're not doing a, uh, we're not doing a an emergency stop. but we do want to stop quickly so up to 40 miles an hour and on the brakes all the way to a stop and like I say we're not doing an emergency stop but we're not stopping very slowly either and on this BMW when I get to about 10 miles an hour that's where I need to pull the clutch in, otherwise the engine braking is going to want to be taking me uh, around. What you're basically doing is you're just getting those smooth surfaces a smooth disc pad and a smooth brake pad 
to get a bit of grit on them and to actually bind together. And you notice again a lot harder on the rear brake to not lock it up, not that you would with ABS, but the rear is definitely a little bit more shiny. I can actually smell the uh, the brakes there. I'm not happy with the rear at the moment, so I'm just going to do another couple more. So five is a good judge, but you know, if you feel they're not binding as well as you want, then just uh, give them a little bit more. I don't know what this guy's doing, so I'll let him go. There you go, another, another two or three goes, and that's feeling a lot more like a rear brake should. Much nicer. And then, once you've done five in each direction, what you should do is, what you should do on every ride out, is just practice a controlled emergency stop with both front and rear. Just to know where your brakes are at. And that they're, uh, they are binding and not locking up. And stalling. So just a controlled emergency stop from 30, 40 miles an hour. Just that everything is gripping the way it should be. That's feeling nice now. And there you go, it didn't take long at all to just get your brakes all binded up. And you know that when you're coming around the corner, something jumps out in front of you, you're going to just be able to bring it down to a stop without the disc fade. As always, I hope that was useful for anyone looking to bed in their new brakes and uh, a like and a subscribe is greatly appreciated and catch you on the next vid. Thank you.